Hi everyone, it's Diane with Sobatique and today is Fabric Friday. I want to let you in on a little secret. <laughs> I had to do a pre-video of this episode um, where we're going to really talk about our batik canvas. We're so excited about the new canvas that has come in. But we are supposed to be receiving our first snow tonight. And it's Wednesday. I am uh, doing a video today on Wednesday. But I am in Mayville and they keep warning that it's just going to be north of us just north of us <laughs> into Minnesota but we'll see what happens um, I'm really not ready for snow I'm just I don't know but once it's here it'll be fine because there's nothing else you can do but I'm just not really ready but it has been a dream to have beautiful weather into almost the end of October it's crazy Anyway, enough of the weather report. <laughs> Today, I am going to share with you some new batik canvas of our light to midweight canvas, as well as our entire collection of 8.6 ounce heavy batik canvas. I am so thrilled that it's here. I'm thrilled that it's on our website. <laughs> I am just so thrilled to start working on some new projects with this fabric and um, I hope you will enjoy it as well. If you are a handbag maker, if you are an accessory maker, and I have to honestly tell you, if you like sewing jeans, dockers, um, I shouldn't call them dockers, but pants, uh, overalls, quilted jackets, if you're a clothing garment sewer, you can sew with a canvas as well as you can with a cotton. So I really think that the canvas can be used for so many different things. Even though the first thing that we think about are bags, we think about basic tote bags, backpacks, and all these different amazing um, accessory patterns that are available on the market today. The way I like to explain our, the weight of our fabric is by using market bags. I decided to create these market bags with the help of my friend Vicki uh, to show you the heaviness, the construction, and the, the weight of the fabric with, without that ability to touch it, basically, is, is really the hard part here. Um, even though on our website, you can definitely add items to your shopping cart for swatches. Find our swatch request for canvas and definitely request some of these so that you can feel it and see how sturdy it is for you for the project that you want to work on. But let's talk about our first collection of Batik canvas. We have had our canvas now for a little while and it is in the rack behind me here. So we have some pastels, we have some very fall, beautiful autumnal shades, we have blues, we have some neutrals and we have some brights. And all of these little gaps in here are for the fabrics I'm going to show you today. <laughs> they are new motifs and colorways for our batik canvas. I have seven different fabrics that I want to share with you. So I'm going to do that first. But let me show you this market bag. What I wanted to do was make a simple pattern, simple market bag pattern that would show how strong, I guess, is the right, right way to say this, our canvas is and how it stands up by using a single layer of the canvas. So this is just simply a tote, no lining, no batting, no zipper, pockets, no nothing. This is just using two of our canvas fabrics. The first is the Phoenix Twilight Blue, is the main portion of this tote bag. And the second is a coordinate used as the straps and the base of the, the tote bag, just to give it a little bit of interest. You could do this from one fabric as well. I just wanted to have two different fabrics. So I don't even have like batting or a strapping or anything in the handles. It is just simply the canvas itself. So if I were to put a stabilizer in the bottom of this tote bag and just drop it onto itself, it's gonna sink onto the stabilizer. It is a rugged, durable canvas 
but it doesn't have a lot of structure that's going to just make it stand up. If I were to do the same thing with a cotton, it would even shrink more just because this has twice as much weight to it and density to it than our batik cotton does. So this is about a five point, I think it's 5.4 ounce canvas. So light to midweight canvas. And that's what we started our first collection with. Later on, I'm going to share with you our 8.6 ounce heavyweight canvas. And I'll show the difference between this tote bag and the market bag that I made out of our can the heavier canvas. But I'd like to really share with you right now the seven new motifs and shades that we've added to this collection. And I'm going to hold up the bolts so that you can see them. And then I'll open up one of them so you can kind of get that feel again. Because the tote bag that I just showed you is washed fabric. I pre-wash everything, even if it's going into a market bag. If I carry groceries in that in a tonic water or a water or a liquid of any kind spills. I don't want anything to transfer color. So we want to make sure that we wash everything that comes into our house. Okay, so this is the first new fabric and it is our Phoenix motif in the shade of Clifton Garden. Isn't this beautiful? It's just like a really delicate, soft looking uh, canvas that actually will go very nicely with the sage shade back here, uh, Medora Flora or hand dyed, and then also goes very well with our hand dyed cope and blue. The second fabric we've added is the Gardenista vine motif, and this is the colorway of Ocean Teal. This is one of your favorite, favorite colors of our 115 inch wide backing, as well as our Batik Rayon. It's just <laughs> gorgeous. Again, you know me, I'm blue, but this will go really well with the Copen Blue as well as a hand dyed or the, I think we have the Medora Flora as another motif for Copen Blue. We also have that available in our cotton. So if you're thinking about pre-quilting any of the lighter weight canvas with a cotton, for a biani bag or so sweetness bag or noodle head or any of the other patterns that we offer or the patterns that you like to sew with, they go so well together, the cotton as well as the canvas. The third new fabric is our Phoenix, and this is the shade of Dark Berry. This, you could bring out some of the eggplant shades as well as our azalea actually and bright purple would be fantastic the next is one of my favorites and this is medora flora in the shade of pinot noir look at that and it, this brings in a lot of lighter shades that you can see that flow throughout the motif it's just beautiful so think of a backpack with this oh love it and then we went light we have more light shades as well. Um, and I think actually this would be a beautiful jacket. Like if you were to quilt up this plus, even if it were a, um, let me think, soft mint would be a shade or coral and make a tamarack jacket. That would be just absolutely gorgeous. Just really subtle shades. So this is the colorway of soft serve. Phoenix Soft Serve. And one of your favorites as a rayon, here is Valhalla in the shade of Lavender Lantern. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And one more is Gardenies Divine in the shade of Firecracker Red. Fantastic. Now, if you made a travel bag, like the ultimate travel bag by Annie, um, you couldn't miss this at an airport. You'd never lose your bag. It's absolutely spectacular. So those are the seven new fabrics that we've added to our light to midweight canvas collection. 
let's jump over and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our new 8.6 ounce heavy batik canvas. I'm going to go back to our example of the tote bag just to show you the differences between the 5.4 ounce or 5.5 ounce lighter to midweight canvas. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like. It just sort of falls into itself. Okay, here is the version of the market bag made with our 8.6 ounce canvas. There's two coordinates. The flock together Dusty Topaz is the main portion of the bag. And I selected the Copen Blue hand dyed 8.6 ounce canvas as the coordinate. And I made this bag the exact same way following my, the pattern is free on our website. But basically it is, how do I, like, I'm a little too close. Let's step back. So if I, I have a stabilizer in the bottom. So if I drop this down, I'm going to hold it so it doesn't fall. But it doesn't really sink because it is heavier. So if I had something in here, it probably would be different. But it really is dense and it it seems just so much more rugged and I will say one thing because I have had questions from people from you guys asking me well why doesn't it just stand up <laughs> well it doesn't simply because it is one layer of canvas there's no stabilizer there's no lining there's nothing else here and it is 100% cotton so if you think about some of those bags that you might get if you go to a quilt show or if you have a Land's End bag or something like that, those can sit on a table and stand by themselves, kind of like this. They will stand by themselves because there's either a nylon in them or a polyester in them or something to give them that, that structure that will never bend. This is not that. This is 100% cotton. And as you can see here, which you didn't see from the lighter weight canvas, it will have structure, okay? So again, you will see on our website, actually, I have to remember to add the second one. I will make sure that there is a swatch for the canvas of lightweight and the canvas of the heavy, um, just to make sure that, that you get swatches of each and not just one canvas. I did not think of that until just now. So I will make sure that we have that second canvas item for swatches on our website, okay? But what I'd like to do now is I'm going to show you each one of the new fabrics. I could not hold the bolts. The bolts of fabric for the canvas, the heavyweight canvas, are over 15 yards each, and I think they weigh, in. I think they weigh 20 pounds a piece. And so just working with them is just exhausting, to be honest with you. So what Bruce and I did is we cut a half a yard from every single one of the bolts to make it easier to show you each one of the fabrics. And so that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, I was gonna take you over to this table and just kind of flip through them, but I think, actually I'm gonna do that. Let's go over to the table. I think it'll just show the colors so much better for you. Here are half yard cuts of every one of our new 8.6 ounce batik canvas. And again, it's 100% cotton. It is hard to show, as I had mentioned earlier, it's really hard to show the weight of this but I wanted to open one of these up so that you could see. It actually is measuring almost 60 inches wide, which was quite impressive. Our goal was to make sure that it was 57 inches wide, just like the first production. This is actually about 60 inches wide. So when you're planning, or if you're going to use a stabilizer like a soft and stable, just know that it will use the entire width of the uh, by any soft and stable with this canvas. That worked out beautifully. So let's go through each one of the colorways. 
for you for those of you who have never um really worked with our colors before but you'll see these in our cotton our jersey in our rayon as well as our first collection of batik uh, canvas. Some of the motifs have changed, but the colors will look very similar. So this is Phoenix Soft Serve. Valhalla. We really concentrated a lot on the Valhalla motif within this canvas collection. Valhalla Sachet Pink. Valhalla Lavender Lantern. Look at the rich color behind hand-dyed azalea. You know, the I believe that the density of this 100% cotton canvas just soaks up the rich color um, of the batik and the stamping is just it's just I don't know it's very impressive I'm really thrilled with how this turned out and so is it's, Bruce is just over the top so here is the hand dyed azalea phoenix dark berry phoenix rainbow Violetta Malbec, which is one of your favorites. Gardenista Vine in the shade of Firecracker Red. This is Valhalla in the shade of Ivy. And of course this, <laughs> I'm wearing the color Napa today. This is Gardenista Vine in the shade of Napa. And look at this, you know, I have to say, I will draw attention to that. I'm wearing a Jersey knit. And so the colorway is just, it's so rich, regardless of the substrate that we are using to dye and stamp the fabric. Here is Medora Flora Dark Brown. Animal Skin Charcoal, which is absolutely one of my favorites of all time. And here is the Hand Dyed Tuxedo, which is our solid black. Okay, let's jump over and take a look at the, the neutrals to blue. This is Valhalla in the shade of Chrome. And right next to it is the first blue. So you can kind of see the difference between the blue and the Chrome here. This is Medora Flora Dusty Denim. Phoenix Clifton Garden. Gardenies Divine Ocean Teal which is just, oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. Gardenies Divine, Dusty Topaz. Gardenies Divine Lake. And the hand-dyed Lake Coordinate. So if you really love the colorway of Lake and just didn't want to include any of the golden brown in it, definitely hand-dyed Lake is perfect. The next one is Medora Flora Copen Blue, Phoenix Turbulent Blue with the teals, turquoises, and kind of a eggplant wine shade. And this is Valhalla Twilight Blue. So this time with the with the Twilight Blue, we decided on this Valhalla motif instead. We've, we've been working through different motifs to see how they turn out in these colorways. And so we just decided not to go with the same Phoenix motif in the heavier canvas. And here is True Indigo. Now, I'm going to see if I can't flip this across so you can see the difference between these two. And what you're going to notice is that you can barely tell the difference between the solid black, which we call tuxedo, and the true indigo, which has a hint of blue to it. So if you are expecting, if you were to order the true indigo, a blue blue that would match one of these other deep, dark, backgrounded um, shades like the turbulent blue, it's you really can't tell the difference between these two. We wish there was a little bit more of the blue hue to the true indigo and it did not come that that produced it was not produced that way so these are the the blessings and the curse of batik fabric um but just wanted to bring that to your attention so you could see the difference between them and i am trying very very hard to get the true indigo to look more like the true indigo but the lighting and the camera it's really difficult to do but we're doing our best to try to get that 
updated on our website so it really doesn't show much blue at all. So those are the new eight ounce or 8.6 ounce canvas shades, motifs, and I am just so excited about what you guys are going to be making with these and how you're gonna use them. I just think it's gonna be so exciting. I decided to come over to the sewing machine and do a quick little test for two reasons. One, I just had my sewing machine serviced and I have not sewn with it since I got it back from um, the store in Fargo that uh, it's called uh, Mrs. Blows and they do a fantastic job. What great, great, great service. So I'm gonna sew with this. And so I thought I would sit down and do that. And as I'm sewing a couple of rows across this fabric, I thought, well, I might as well turn this on to show you. So here's what I'm doing. This is the 8.6 ounce heavy canvas. The market bag that I made did not have any interfacing or stabilizer or anything. I was just simply sewing multiple layers together, adding handles, doing some top stitching. So it was basic sewing. With that bag, I used um, Sew Fine thread from Superior as well as a Schmetz top stitching needle that was an 8012, which is really typically what I have in my sewing um, accessory tote is an 8012 for most of everything that I sew. When it comes to bags and handbags, accessories, anything that has multiple layers of canvas or cotton, can be cotton, and I'm adding a lot of binding or doing something where I'm just, I'm thicker than normal when I'm sewing, I like to just use a 9014. That's what I grab. And so I just, put in the sewing machine the Schmetz top stitch 9014 and I have some sew fine thread in here and so I just decided to run a couple of of simple straight line um, stitches across this fabric so what I did is I took leftover canvas this is the 8.6 from the market bag I wrapped it around a 10 inch square of soft and stable and if I were to pay attention correctly, and I'm not doing that right now, I can tell, I would make one of the little baskets out of this because this is the size to make one of those, um, I think it's a pedophore basket, and maybe I still will. Anyway, my goal is to show you how I stitch on the 8.6 ounce canvas with the stabilizer inside of it and so I'm here's what I'm going to do I'm just going to run a few more rows across here and I have my sewing machine set to a 2.6 stitch length which is pretty traditional actually so I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to change it to be a little longer because sometimes I really like a longer stitch length And it sews very nicely. And I do hear a little bit of the um, needle popping. That kind of, it, it sounds like it's like, it's hitting the canvas and it does this little pop, 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 pop. That is what I am hearing. And it really stitches beautifully. I don't know if you can see that or not, but, but it's really even. And the back looks beautiful. I'm gonna lengthen it just a little bit because a lot of times I will lengthen it to be a 3.0 to give it a little bit of character. And if you're working with a heavier thread, it can add a lot of really fun detail to your quilting work when you're quilting with any weight canvas or cotton, actually. Now, I'm not using a walking foot, which is probably what I should be using when I'm just doing straight line stitching like this or quilting. And there's the next line. Because you wanna know what happens when you're not using a walking foot? 
the fabric moves a little bit on you. And I did not spray this down. I just wrapped it around the soft and stable, but it does, it's moving on me, which is probably not a good thing, but it adds, you know, quilting. I think the things to think about too, when you're working with a heavier canvas that I have found is quilting it, um, keep the design, whether it be the straight line, you know, quilting or uh, circles or, you know, flowers or whatever you happen to want to put into your project, keep it a little loose because the weight of the canvas plus a stabilizer, even if it's not soft and stable, if it's a batting plus an interfacing that might've been fused to the canvas, it will get really stiff. That may be the look you're looking for, which is great. Then the, the tighter the quilting, the stiffer your project is going to turn out to be. Here is, like if I were to crunch this up, it is really sturdy and thick. Um, so this is only maybe three fourths of an inch to an inch apart, these rows. And so it is really gonna stand up. It's gonna give you that um, stability that you want in a bag. If you were to make a tote bag just using soft and stable or a stabilizer with canvas, which actually I should probably do. That would be a great next project for a market bag is just to make it with a stabilizer and add a little cushion to it. Um, but there's so many different things that you can do with a heavier canvas. And even for the holidays, you know, a great gift is making um, oven mitts. Make those out of canvas in your heat reflective uh, interfacing. Um, I think it would just add a lot of of fun and style to any project that you happen to want to sew. So just remember from this little, little sewing exercise is use your uh, 9014 needle. I think it would be just fine sewing like this with an 8012. I don't think that would be a problem at all. And what it's also telling me is that uh, Mrs. Blows did a great time, great, great job correcting my timing issues on my sewing machine, which were a mess. So I really want to thank them for that as well. So that is our little segment on our new batik canvas and our new additions to our lightweight canvas, which I'm so thrilled about adding more color and adding more life to a collection. Um, it's, it's really fun to do and it gives you all so many more choices. So look on our website for our new 8.6 ounce batik canvas. I will make sure I add a swatch request for that specific canvas. So you'll see two different canvas items in our swatches and also look for the new fabrics for our lighter weight canvas. If that is your choice for um, the projects that you're working on as well. Now, this stuff is so heavy, <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, sticking with me as I share with you each one of our new 8.6 ounce, 57 to 60 inch wide batik canvas fabrics for all of your fun ideas and have a wonderful Friday. Give me some questions below. Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully we don't get too much um, snow. It is starting to rain out there, which was going to be the first step. And uh, I'll share with you some pictures if it actually does snow. But happy Friday, happy weekend, and keep sewing, smiling, and sharing. <laughs>